Theracal LC is a light-cured, resin-modified, calcium-silicate-filled liner designed for use in direct and indirect pulp capping as a protective base liner under composites, amalgams, cements, and other base materials. It can be used as a replacement for calcium hydroxide, glass ionomer, RMGI, IRM, ZOE, and other restorative materials. Theracal LC performs as an insulator barrier and protectant of the dental pulpal complex and aids in the regenerative process. The proprietary formulation of Theracal LC consists of tricalcium silicate particles in a hydrophilic monomer that provides significant calcium release, making it a uniquely stable and durable material as a liner or base. The following cases will demonstrate Theracal LC being used as a liner and for pulp capping. Rubber dam isolation is highly recommended for all direct resin-based composite restorations to avoid contamination from saliva. Prepare the tooth by removing all old restorative material and check for proper form and additional decay. Continue excavation and keep the tooth moist to avoid desiccation. A caries indicator die is used to check for further caries and a spoon excavator is used to remove the decay. The final tooth preparation is complete and ready for restoration. A cavity disinfectant containing chlorhexidine or glutaraldehyde may be placed at this time. Leave the preparation visibly moist prior to placement of Theracal LC. This will enhance the bond strength of the liner or pulp cap and avoid patient sensitivity. Apply Theracal LC directly to the cavity floor of the preparation in incremental layers. The layer should not exceed one millimeter in depth to ensure adequate cure. Manipulate the material into a smooth surface covering all deep dentin areas. Use the tip or ball end hand instrument to move the material where it is desired. Theracal LC will stay where you put it. Even on vertical pulpal axial walls, if using multiple layers, light cure between each layer. After curing for 20 seconds, the completed liner should have a smooth surface that is ready for an adhesive. If a pulp exposure were to occur due to caries, mechanical or trauma, hemostasis must be achieved prior to placement of Theracal LC. Control the bleeding by placing a sterile cotton pellet dampened with sterile saline or sodium hypochlorite. Blot the preparation with the cotton pellet and leave it visibly moist. Apply Theracal LC directly to the exposed pulp in incremental layers. A liner may be placed on the rest of the deep dentin. If using the total etch technique, etch the preparation and rinse thoroughly. If using a selective etch technique, etch just the enamel with a highly viscous etchant such as Select HV Etch with BAC. Place an adhesive and continue restoring the tooth. The final restoration will provide protection to the pulpal complex and start healing the tooth immediately. Continuing with the previous case, place a matrix band or sectional matrix as desired to ensure adequate restoration form and contact. Keep the preparation moist after placement of Theracal LC prior to adhesive placement. Select HV with BAC etching is being used in the selective etch technique, applying only to the enamel. Completely rinse all etchant and leave the preparation visibly moist prior to adhesive placement. Place the desired adhesive such as All Bond Universal and ensure that the exposed dentin, enamel, and Theracal LC liner are completely penetrated with the adhesive. Scrub the adhesive into the dentin with an agitating motion. If the preparation is large, more than one drop of adhesive may be required to completely bond to the tooth structure. Continue restoring the tooth with your choice of resin-based composite. If using Theracal LC as a liner in 1 mm increments, another base material is not required. Place the composite in increments to avoid unnecessary stress on the tooth. Adequately light cure the restorative material. The final restoration is complete and the clinician should not worry about tooth sensitivity using the previous protocol. Theracal LC provides many advantages for you to achieve clinical success with all your direct and indirect restorations such as Calcium release stimulates hydroxyapatite and secondary dentin bridge formation. 
the alkaline pH promotes healing and appetite formation. Significant calcium release leads to a protective seal, forms a protective barrier that insulates the pulp. Radiopacity for easy identification on radiographs. No solubility avoiding washout over time. Strong physical properties to be used under all restorative materials. To learn more about Theracal LC, contact BISCO at 800-247-3368.